All right, so I've been messing around with 3D printers this year, printing random stuff like headphone stands, phone holders, even a mini Iron Man helmet. Don't ask. Some were awesome. Some were kind of meh. So here's my honest take on the best 3D printers for home use in 2025. If you're just getting into 3D printing or want to upgrade your setup, this list's for you. Creality K2 Plus Combo. Okay, this thing is a monster. It prints super fast, like up to 600 millimeters per second, and supports multicolor printing, which is sick for making cool looking models. The AI cameras are a nice touch too. They help spot issues mid print, but heads up, it's huge, so make sure you've got space. Also, the setup isn't beginner friendly. It took me a while to figure out the CFS system. In all or overall, amazing for big projects and multicolor prints, but not ideal if you're just starting out. Check the description below for links. Original Prusa Core 1. This one's plug and play. It comes fully assembled and the print quality is super clean. I printed a phone stand and a mini planter. Both came out perfect. You get removable print sheets, which makes cleanup easy, and they throw in a one kilogram spool of PLA, so you're good to go. Downside, it's not the fastest, and the build volume is kinda mid-sized. In all, or overall, great for beginners or anyone who wants reliable prints without messing with settings. Check the description below for links. Bamboo Lab A1. This one surprised me. It's quiet, fast, and supports multi-color printing too. The auto calibration and flow rate compensation actually work. I didn't have to tweak anything. Only thing is, the build volume is smaller than I expected, and the filament system can be a bit finicky if you don't load it right. In all or overall, solid choice for home use, especially if you want multicolor prints without the noise. Check the description below for links. Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. This is the budget champ. It's got a Sprite Direct extruder, handles flexible filaments, and prints decent quality stuff. I made a headphone hook and a cable organizer, both turned out fine. But yeah, it's not fancy. No multicolor, no AI, and you'll need to do some manual tweaking. In all or overall, perfect starter printer if you're on a budget and just want to print cool stuff. Check the description below for links. Original Prusa XL. This one's a beast. Huge build volume, Core XY motion system, and you can upgrade it with extra tool heads later. I printed a full-size helmet with this, no joke. But it's expensive and takes up a ton of space. Also, the extra tool heads cost more, so keep that in mind. In all, or er, overall, if you're serious about 3D printing and wanna go big, this is the one. Check the description below for links. So yeah, I've tested all these printers over the past few months. Some were super fun, some made me wanna rage quit, but overall, there's something here for every type of user. Whether you're just starting out or going full maker mode, pick the one that fits your vibe. Check out the description below for links.